When the owner of this farm drilled a borehole, all he wanted was water. But what was produced on this day was nothing like water. It turned out to be a gas. A gas in the end left one person injured, leaving geologists puzzled and searching for answers and prompting us to seek answers as well. And two weeks later, the borehole now secured is still emitting the natural gas in large quantities mixed with water. According to the geologists who took over the site for sampling and testing, the water levels are very low, considering the amount of water spilling around the borehole, but the gas is escaping freely into the air. No one is allowed to get near the borehole with anything that can spark a fire because this gas is flammable. All the trees around the borehole were burnt before fire engines arrived to extinguish the fire. Geologists warn that proper tests have to be conducted before the owner can consider commercializing the gas or even use it in any way. And while this incident is rare, the area lies along the Great Rift Valley and a few kilometers from the Menengai Crater in Nakuru County, which is prone to jaces and hot water emanating from the ground. So maybe what they drill, the locals will drill, you'll find some small, small, maybe gases issuing on the ground, but it's not a very big deal. The area is a fault line left behind during the formation of the Great Rift Valley and Menengai Crater. This caldera is about nine kilometers wide. The mouth of the crater, we are told, emits different kinds of gas to date, with the Kenya Geothermal Development Company harvesting steam from the crater to produce electricity. So you see hot springs, geishas. This is just an indication that we have hit the ground. So some of these areas, they, they are still connected to the whole system, Menengai. But within this area, we've, we, we monitor the boreholes, and some of them have elevated temperatures between 40 and 60. Solai village, which is about 10 kilometers away from the caldera, is said to also be along the fault line left behind after the Menengai crater was formed, and this could be the possible cause of the Solai natural gas. Bernard Masharia, a farm worker in one of the farms just next to the Menengai crater, shows us an abandoned borehole in the middle of the farm. Wakati the chimbo na machine, it throw a steam. As a wakati it throw a steam, it kawacho kwa zababu ilionekana ita throw a mosh. Ita throw a mo, ita throw a moth. When the steam was tested, the temperature was about 130 degrees. They had to abandon it. However, they had to leave it open to avoid causing an explosion through other fault lines in the area. Kuna watu walikuja wakasema, area hii kuna kuna jia zimingi za moto na inaonekana itaweza kuwa kuna jia ya moto hapa. About 25 kilometers away from Menengai is Old Rongai in Rongai constituency, Nakuru County. Here, several people have drilled boreholes. However, each borehole drilled produced hot water. Lakini pude sipunde wakati walianza kuleta maji, wakaweka pipe diyo ikuje, maji ikawa ni moto. Paka ata yu mfereje nyiriwe kwa muanzo, haikufanya kazi. They are now forced to collect the hot water in huge water tanks, leave it to settle down overnight where it cools down, then allow it to flow into their house for domestic use. Uki pump. Ine, ina, ineza kuja na utumie vitu nataka. Kutaka kutumia moto lakini kwa ngombe lazima ipoe. No, na upande ya ngombe lazima ipoe sayi uwezi kunyo maji mo, moto. Due to lack of water in the area, residents came together and came up with a water project. They drilled a borehole. But when we first did the, the project, the water that came out was very, very hot. And uh, it posed a challenge, the kind of piping that we were using, they, they got burnt the first time. Uh, the first pump, it, it got burnt. Uh, the impellers were, been, were being burnt by the, the heat because the heat was more than 60 degrees Celsius. Every effort they made to pump the water out proved futile. We got another pump. 
with the help of the Catholic Diocese of Nakuru. But again, after a short while, it was off. And it's now 26 years. We have not been able to do anything with this water. But as you can hear, if you listen, you'll hear a lot of pressure from underneath. 30 years later, the borehole is lying idle and no one dares to try restoring it again after all the millions of shillings lost in buying pumps and pipes. But according to these experts, instead of abandoning these boreholes that are emitting gas, hot water or steam, they can be used in other economic ways. You can come up with a tourist uh, hotel and make this a tourist destination where we will do hot water spas, hot water games. That steam can be used to heat um, greenhouses, uh, chicken houses. It is an area lying along the Rift Valley where geologists say it is a common phenomenon to find hot water, steam or even natural gas coming out of fault lines or even boreholes. But they say it is advisable for anyone drilling a borehole to seek expertise advice before doing so. Dennis Matara K24 from Olrongai, Nakuru County.